What went into the uh, decision to sign a punter, and what does your place kicking situation look like heading into the spring? Great question. I'm scared to death of what it, what it is. You know, but, uh, the decision on the punter was, in my history, I found that you can find more quality kickers through the walk-on route than you can quality punters. And after sitting down, sharing ideas, talking to people in the NFL, and you just you, people have experience even at the college level, we felt like as a staff that it was going to be harder to manufacture punting than it would be to field goal and place kicking. So obviously we felt like it was uh, the right route to go ahead and offer a, a, a punter that we thought was very reputable and does a great job and is uh, very held in high regard across the uh, country as, as punters go. So we feel like he can fill a void. He can fill a void for four years and be a really good one. And then at, at field goal kicker, we want to find out what we have here in the spring. We really don't know as a staff exactly what we've got. We'll find that out in the spring. Um, we'll also try to get some guys in here, whether it be by way of transfer or be by way of uh, walk, preferred walk-on. We're going to try to get the best kickers we can to make that a competitive environment so that we can improve the, the kicking game and, and, and essentially find a guy that can be the field goal kicker for us because it's a little scary coming in, even for Shane, he's going, wait a second, if we don't have a punter, we don't have a returning snapper that started, and we don't have a, a field goal kicker. That's a little overwhelming, but we didn't want to commit a scholarship to a kicker as of now. We'll see how that goes.